Hello, Kleiseer, Phantom Brave PC. In the last part, we beat a chapter, we found their dual duelists, and, you know, let's, let's go. Welcome, welcome! I am the Elder of Desert Island. Okay. As I wrote in my letter, Raphael of the White Wolf Army is terrorizing the island. Yeah, I have my doubts. Got it. I just have to make him leave Desert Island, right? Well, uh, I guess that's what it boils down to, sure. Can you do that? I hired you because I heard you were skilled, but I never imagined you were a little girl. Do you know who Raphael is? Are you sure you can handle this? Don't worry, it's fine. The real Raphael would be tough, but some imposter is no problem. Huh? <laughs> Minus world. Yeah, I can't believe we did an unbeatable level here. So the job is no problem, huh? That's a pretty bold statement, Morona. You think so? I just didn't want the people of Desert Island to worry. Mm -hmm. I know, but we can't let our guard down. Our enemy's still out here, whoever he is. All right. You're right, but why would somebody pretend to be Raphael? This is the second time so far. I wonder if that's normal when you're famous. And that thought will have to wait. There's a, a single slime. Oh, and here's more. <laughs> no quote, just like, yeah, we gotta feed some slimes. Okay. So they all have EXP bonuses and they regenerate. And they're like level 27, 28. Okay, those are really good for physical-based characters. Norm to this anthill. Let's go! Ash to this one. Ruby Tark. I need to move forward. And maybe Ash here. Let's go! On the one that has more attack but lower defenses. Because he takes a turn immediately. So he basically runs out of turns earlier, even though his remove counts the same as Norm or Tark. And I want to cast Braveheart, so I'm not going to find Hina this turn. Uh, who do we Braveheart? See, Tark moves before Norm, so Tark can move backwards and Braveheart. So I think I Braveheart Ash. Because he's actually going to take a turn. Makes sense to me. Alright, what have we got for resistances? Yeah, let's just like flying bomb somebody. Okay, it's these two enemies that are taking turns next, and then this one, before any of the front row ones do. That is the four in the front. This game doesn't have rows. Alright, got him. Mega Ice! Wow. Is, is Tark weak to ice? Fortunately, he's a class that gets more resistance. I guess. Oh yeah, minus 60% weakness to ice. We're still going with Braveheart over Mega Heal though. <gasps> See, maybe you should attack one that doesn't have times two experience. Save the times two experience for anybody else. All right. I need to throw before I cast anything. Morona will be doing some sort of healing. Equipment none. Oops. Uh, 
find the healer anyway, maybe? Let's do it! Alright. Maybe I should have lifted an object. Let's go! Uh, let's lift this up. Make ourselves a little extra fast. Cause speed is the best stat, especially on Marona. Oh, I should confine a bottom. Oh. Yeah, I should confine a bottle mail somewhere. Delayed strike. My turn. So I don't think there's. Oh, that's bad. Doesn't have that much defense though. Is delayed strike wind elemental? Okay, we're fine if we use wind here. So Ash is like killing one person per turn. Um, no more ant hills that I could confine to. I guess I'll just try and get this. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I have revive. What's wrong with reviving items? <laughs> Here. Hopefully they get a turn before they're killed again. One of these is weak to wind. All the way over there. And it's whittling a rock, so it'll have a lot of... Um... Defense. Ah, oh, again. Can you magic wall somebody that's dead and then revive them and they'll still have the magic wall effect? <laughs> oh! Not if you don't have the SP for revive. Well, we tried. Has the healer gotten a turn yet? I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, Gale Slash wouldn't be any good. And just an Angle Slash? Uh, Flying Bomb won't send him off the map. And it does seem like a pretty strong skill, even for its cost. Well, especially for its cost, I should say. Oh, final turn. Uh-oh. Well, we're not capturing an item this battle. Hmm. Oh, wait. You are way weak to wind. Nine hundred damage. Oh, you know revive. Oh, but I can't hit the bottle mail and Tina. And you have exactly fifteen SP. Great. We're going for this though. Oh, that's a stronger revive. Turns out healer better at healing than Morona. I want to see this move. 
Here I come. Whoa! It's ice! Because it came from a fish. So obviously it's a water move. Alright, Marona, you really need to train your healing SP so you can revive multiple times. Alright, you are weak to fire. Gotta take some revenge. Wait. Okay, yeah, the protection's still there that gives them bonus experience. It's just the two or whatever doesn't appear when... Come here. <laughs> um... Oh wait, this is double. Okay, that's fine. We killed the rock. It doesn't have plus defense. Got a cactus. I don't remember who all's gotten kills. Whatever, Norm, you just take him out. Got him. See, with all those times two experience enemies, that would probably be good to revisit. If they, um, are there the next time. Nice. Our old man increased our, yeah, our merchant's XP. Alright, and I think the healer should probably have something equipped. And... Norm has a lot more energy lately. Okay. So, I guess we have time for another battle, potentially. Ash's sword level... And his staff level... We could level this now, or we could get Killer Spin. I like Killer Spin. Oh, we could still level it up. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we looted a cactus! Cacti has a high attack percentage. I probably want to confine it to something attack-based. Or not confine. Um, I'm gonna fuse. First, Flawless is probably a good title. Oh yeah! Um, boom! Get that attack power. Also, I still like that characters have equip percentages. Usually pretty low ones compared to actual items, but now we can see them. If you equip Norm, you get 10% of his HP, 10% of his attack, and 10% of his defense. It varies by class, of course. Alright, so your weapon... Yeah, that only has 55% attack. So if I can combine it with the cactus, that'll be good. Or, how's Tark's weapon? 72%? That's weird. I thought they always had to be multiples of 5. Let's see. 261 base. 350 base. Okay, yeah, Norm's weapon needs more help with attack than Tark's. And apparently, it, it's not a consideration for, um... Hmm. Uh, Ash. Alright. Mischief managed. Let us save before we go to another battle. Oh yeah, the starfish needs more mana before I can combine the trolley into it. Or the trolley needs to gather some mana. A test of will. No plot, just go. Big map, but only about as many enemies as the previous one, I think. Level 23 over here. That's level 29. Oh, more EXP times 2. Like it. I once again like the idea of putting Ash in a cactus and everyone else in other things. I think Ash and Norm will deal with this half of the battle. 
Hark and Hina will deal with this half of the battle. Oh, this rock is what's providing the protection, though. I want to, uh, not get rid of the rock. Famous cactus! Let's see, since I like to put Hina in what Morona is wielding, when there aren't very many good int items around, I think I'll confine this part of the battlefield first. So that, um... Morona can Let's still go. cast Braveheart. Let's go. All right. I need to remember Ash is not boosted this time, so he's not going to do amazing things every turn. Still, a Geo Slash should deal damages if you hit three targets with it. Got him. I mean, none of them are dead, but got them with the effect. Can I just do it again? No, I can't, because I don't have the stuff. Let's see, I'm curious, though. So the move cost 16, and we are missing 16, so we didn't get an SP off of that. We have a good amount of progress towards the next SP, though. I should be casting Burst more. Except, I could also just jerk her, I guess. Can I hit all three with it? Yes. No. I somehow missed the one that I'm next to. Maybe if I adjust my position slightly? Oh! If I stand on top of them, it extends just yeah. far enough down. Alright, strategy. Oops! Uh, I meant to hit A and then slightly move north a bit more. Um, will this reach any of them? Barely. My turn! Got people not knowing where they want to be in the battle. Do they belong on the left half or the right half? Nobody knows. Oh, that didn't kill. But you've got minus 60% wind resist. Oh no. <laughs> I'm always a little afraid when Morona gets attacked. Okay, so I think... I want this famous cactus. Tark can Let's be in the Smiley it. Cactus. We throw this down. We can find the healer Let's to do it. it. Yeah, let's, let's get the healer out too. Move back. And heal Let's. self. Nice. Alright. Thinking a magic wall here is probably good. And then move away more. No, we'll cast burst over angle slash because I'm more interested in spirit XP. Final turn. Delayed strike it? That does not deal much damage, but it sends people flying. I gotta remember that. Kill that with Gale Slash? Wait, does he not revive? I'm just curious, I don't need to revive now. Oh, I should have maybe brave. Oh, okay, we didn't need to brave heart. All right, minus wind, minus ice. 
the mirror. Got him. Oh, no, we didn't. Not all the way. What? What is this strategy? Uh, who's magic walled already? I think these people still need it. Yeah, this is why... <laughs> Rona's weapon never gets any... Mana, because it always becomes a witch. don't have anything that reaches any enemies, do you? Well, you could Gale Slash that. It would deal a lot of damage, even though it has resistance, I bet. Yeah. Because final turn. Can I finish that? Probably not. And also, I slid awkwardly in, so it prevented the move from even being usable. I don't think I'm gonna go for it again. We'll just, uh... Heal up a little. Great. Build our healing SP. Someday we'll be able to revive twice. Might as well. We got the cactus. Oops. That was uh, meant to be going down and hitting attack. Nice. Fire wouldn't be a bad idea, I feel like. I hope it still gets the kill on the one that's resistant to fire. Oh, can I not reach the other one? Really? I guess we'll use lightning bomb again then? Or maybe acid rain? Save some SP. Got him. I think I'll save the kill for people that are over there. Norm already killed two things this battle. Alright. Killed some healing SP. Casting revive many times might be useful. Slash that. Nice. Battle one. Nice. Merchant earning some money. Kinda wish items could actually level up themselves if they get enough experience. Rather than having to do this every battle. It's like, oh, let's check for level ups. The movie. See, I did get an item. I should probably pull the title off first. Then somebody can become famous. Whoa. Maybe Norm is actually famous. Difference. Flawless gives more defense, famous gives more health. <laughs> uh, I think Tark's actually famous. Or. <laughs> Boom. And is Ash cheery? I think it's better than fresh for him. Is... Oh, yeah, we want proper on there. Hmm. Having a Neo, which wouldn't be bad. Hina doesn't have access to an ice move right now. Hey, Chosen's a good title, though. Is Morona the Chosen one? 
Yes. <laughs> Just want to compare the stats a little. Whoa! I just noticed that, uh, Chosen even increases her healing aptitude to S. That's really good. Or no, wait. She has an S healing aptitude with the other one. So maybe I keep her on... Fresh? No, serious? I forgot for a moment that it always shows you what you have selected on the right, not what is currently set. So yeah, serious chroma. Uh, but we've got more good titles. See, so you, you don't make good use of Neo, except for you like resistance. Chosen, superior to spoiled. Thanks! <laughs> Alright, titles have been applied. Our pile of weapons as we just try to level up our healer. And we've done enough fusing that we're not gonna buy anything right now that's actually better. But maybe it'll fuse into becoming better. Like this axe? It has 72% attack. You know what that would be good for? Norm's weapon. Which probably has the spare mana. There it is. Oh, it only 351. Oh, but it only costs 13. <laughs> oh, because that's the only thing that I'm raising. The attack percentage. Let's get some confinability. Gives more defense and attack. Like, just in case Norm runs out of turns, then confining to his weapon seems to make sense. Hmm. Oh yeah, we got a cactus. Yeah, we'll get some attack percentage there as well. I need a lot more items to fuse into Ash's weapon. Oh well, this... So axe will be good. We get more percentage, more confinability. Do I want wild swing? Not really. Stone knife. Where did I get this? I must have bought it. I bought this. It must have collected mana from an end of battle thing. Oh, we do get some speed percentage out of this. I'll take it. Is anybody- nobody's even using this cane. I could fuse with it for the mana. Oh, and I could get blinding light. Which might not be bad. Alright, I killed that item. Hmm. Alright, we get some HP percentage out of that. Get some HP percentage out of that. Not really compelling. Let's see, I'm confining int characters to this a lot. So 5% int is worth. I think I have more flowers, even. Sunflower. Boom. This gives it more HP, more attack, more int. Not really valuable. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save the mana. Oh, we're already to 60% int. Er, wait, no, that's confinability. Yeah, when there's a tie, you still get 5%. So, uh, if I confine Hina to this Silver Staff, they're gonna be dealing a lot of damage now. Because they'll have a 65% in bonus. Can we get some, like, 
defense bonuses or something. It's just 5% HP, and you don't get healed to full when you're confined. I need to retrieve some more rocks or something. Alright. Do you get any benefit from this? 1 HP. Which is actually 11 HP, but it's only got a 10% HP modifier. Hmm. I guess I could combine this flower with this flower to get to 65%. Oh, that was the- Oh wait, no, that was- No, I was supposed to raise the confined percentage. Oops. Well, uh, he has weapon. Has 65% int. All planned. Now it's 70% int. And I raise the confined ability too, because it's like nearly free. Let's get some more... I don't know, HP percent isn't really good except on Tark's weapon. So let's absorb the tree into Tark's weapon. Oh, that's a lot of mana to get 5% HP. Let's uh, maybe not do that now. I guess they probably have low compatibility or something. What is this seed good for? Not much. Maybe it has good confined percentages. I can get 5% HP. Uh, Alright, what else can I buy? Or maybe I should end off the episode instead of managing items for 9 years. Yeah, everything you can buy has 0 mana in it to begin with. What could I really even use? Anything with plus speed would be cool, I think. So a knife? Sure. Because <laughs> Ash's weapon still has way too much mana. You get 5% speed out of it. Leveling the merchant. And these low level items are actually better for when you're just trying to raise the percentages on your equipment. Another plus speed item. That's just gonna go so fast. And a stone knife. And a dagger. A bronze dag. Hmm, actually, how's uh, Hina's weapon for speed? Yeah, you could use more speed. Then you can take your turns before you die. Oh. That is... a lot to pay. Whatever, let's do it. C-rank match, just spent a thousand mana. This is an A-rank match. Alright, well, that was probably enough spending forever managing items. Um, so that's it for this part. In the next part, we'll continue with the desert. Because that's how games work. You, you continue in them, usually. And the name of the thing is Wandering's End. So, uh, yeah. That's it for this part. See ya!